The U.S. Department of Justice is inviting the Minneapolis Police Department to take part in a new initiative that would provide them additional resources. The DOJ is putting millions toward a national center that will provide training and assistance to help prevent the use of excessive force. As Rex Chapman reports, the initiative is welcomed by many who want police reform and protection from gun violence. Representatives from the Department of Justice stood next to Minneapolis's top cop to announce an initiative they hope will change the culture within the Minneapolis Police Department. Our goal here today and going forward is to keep everyone safe and secure through constitutional and otherwise lawful police practices. The DOJ is offering a $3 million grant to the International Association of Chiefs, a nonprofit that works on advancing policing. It wants Minneapolis to be one of the first cities to take advantage of a resource center run by the association. Chief Madaria Arredondo says he is open to additional resources to help officers in the community they serve. What this offer would do is, is it would provide that additional support for us in terms of training, in terms of looking at our policies, in terms of, of resources for uh, not only just our men and women in terms of their mental health, will, wellness and resiliency, but also to our community. After the announcement, the DOJ met behind closed doors with members of the community. They say what upset them most is hearing city council members did not want to sit down with federal officials. So where do you go when you don't respect the citizens, the human beings, the people of color, or the government offices that came today? We are doing everything we can with no resources. Mm -hmm. And then somebody come in and the city council is the one that said they don't want to get a resource. Then the city council said we can't have help. And so what do that, what is that telling us? That they're going to let us continue to die. These community leaders say they know the Minneapolis Police Department has been under pressure to reform while dealing with staff shortages and increased violence citywide. What they want is all hands on deck to stop the shooting and start investing in reforms for MPD. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Minneapolis City Council President Lisa Bender told us she first heard about this plan in the news. In a statement, she says, I haven't seen the details of a grant application or memorandum of understanding and will review any information that comes to the City Council carefully.